Canadians Maple Leafs, Mario. Let's talk about this one. This was actually a really good game, Mario. Uh, the Canadians kept their season alive. They won in overtime in, in game five. They won four to three. The series is going to game six, and it's going back to Montreal. So uh, best of luck to both teams. Um, overall, Mario, this was this was actually a very fun game to watch. You know, um, the Canadians were leading this one three to one going into the third period. Uh, the third period, then the Maple Leafs scored two, went into overtime, and the Canadians was like, "No, nah, you're not scoring another goal." And um, they they scored the the killing blow in overtime, and now it's going to game six, which by the way is going to be on Saturday at seven thirty p.m. So make sure you go check that out. Um, now let's go to the stats, okay? Uh, I'll start off with the Canadians. Joel Armia, he had himself two goals and three shots on goals. And uh, Jess Barry, Cotts, and Cot Can, Nimi. I tried my best, okay? He, uh, he had a goal and one shot on goal. And Nick Suzuki also had himself a goal and two shots on goal. So they did a good job with that, Mario. Um, Cole, uh, Cole Caulfield, he had himself an assist. And the same thing with Corey Perry and Eric Stahl. They all, they all had assists. Uh, Carrier Price actually had a uh, relatively good game, Mario. He uh, he saved 32 out of 35, which is a save percentage of 91 or point, uh, 0.914. So he did a good job there. Uh, now let me go to the Maple Leafs real quick. Uh, Jack Muzin, he had himself two goals and three shots on goals. And Zach, Zach uh, Hyman, he had himself a goal and six shots on goals. And um, assist-wise, Mitch Marner, Austin Matthews, Wayne Simmons, and we'll uh, all have himself assist. And William N- Nylander had two assists as well. Um, so offensively, they did a good job. It just came down to um, it just came down to uh, the overtime moment. And uh, Jack Campbell, um, he had twenty six saves. Had the thirty shots made by the Canes, which is a save percentage of eighty six or point eight six seven. Um, now let's go to the uh, let's go to the box stats real quick. Shots on goal, Canadians had thirty. Maple Leafs had thirty five. Face off percentage, um, the Maple Leafs at fifty one point seven. Or excuse me, that was the Canadians. The Maple Leafs had 48.3. Power plays, both teams had one, didn't make one. Um, They didn't make their own power play. They only had one. Penalty minutes, both teams had two. Hits, Canadians had 44. And uh, the Maple Leafs had 38. Blocks, Canadians had 10. Uh, Maple Leafs had 12. Uh, Giveaways, the Canadians had 12. And the Maple Leafs had 15. And the, and, uh, the takeaways, the Maple Leafs had 12. And the uh, Canadians had eight. So let's talk about this, okay? Off, offensively, both teams did good, did good you know. Um, Carey, Carey Price held the line for as long as he could in those um, couple of overtime uh, – not, not the couple of overtimes, in that overtime. So he did a good job with that. But one thing was clear, Mario, they blew that lead, you know. They could have won that game easily the way they could have in third period. But the defense just didn't hold in that, in that um, third period, and they ended up going to overtime. But at the end of the day, you know, the Canadians – capitalize on the fact that their defense kind of blew it for them and they won the game. So you got to thank the offense for that as well. And Carey Price too, of course, is Carey Price did a good job back there. Um, as for the Toronto Maple Leafs, um, one, one thing that, one thing that I look at it, it kind of hurt them. The same thing with the Canadians is, is the power play. Again, they only have one each and they didn't make it, you know, so you gotta, you gotta capitalize on that. The Canadians have not made a single power play in this entire series. And I'm surprised they're still in it, Mario. I, I would have thought that they'd be out of it by now, but they're still in it. They're still fighting. I got to give them credit for that. You know, that's the best part about it is that having that fighting spirit. That's just the best part about that. Um, penalty minutes, they were really good on that. They only had two minute, two minutes and penalty minutes. So that's, that's really good. Hits wise. It was a very, it was a very physical game, but then again, when it comes to the Canadian teams, they're always very physical anyway. Um, but one thing that's going to hurt both teams is these giveaways. You know, the, the Maple Leafs gave up 15 and um, the um, Canadians gave up 12. It's, I mean, I know the Canadians had less, but still, that's still a lot of giveaways in one game. You can't be giving away that puck. You know what I mean? And I feel like that's what con- a, lot, a lot of that contributed to um, to the Maple Leafs coming back and uh, setting the game overtime, which, which unfortunately, at the end of the day, you know, the Canadians still won. Um, well, unfortunately for the Toronto Maple Leafs, for me, again, I don't care who wins the series, but um, when I look at it, Mario, the, the Canadians need to stay alive for game six. They need to because then they can force a game seven and, you know, I can laugh at the Maple Leafs again for blowing yet another series. That's going to be fun if that happens. But anyway, um, um, but yeah, the Canadians, you know, the Canadians need to do they need to be on par with the Maple Leafs. You know, they did a good job this game. I'll give them credit for that, but defense needs to be better. You know, you blew that game in the third period. 
you were lucky enough to have won in overtime. You know, you can thank your offense and carry Price for that. But game six, I'm up in my defense. My offense is fine, all right, because offensively, they were doing a good job, Mario. You know, they had 30 shots on goals. They had 51 points. They won face-off percentage by 51.7. Um, again, power play goals is another thing that's killing them. You know, they got to make those power plays. They haven't made one this series. You know what I mean? So, and I feel like that's, and I feel like that's been hurting them a lot in many key situations. So if I'm, I'm the Canadians, I'm being better on defense and I'm making a power play. Goal. That's it. That's all I got to do. And you're, and, and that's, and that's all you really need to do. Cause when this team clicks, they're a really good team, but when it's off, like it's, it's off, like it's bad. So with that being said, game six is on Saturday at seven 30. It's going to be in uh, Montreal. So make sure you guys will check that out. Best of luck to both teams, Mario. And yeah, we'll just see what happens on Saturday. Let me say this, Nate, okay? I think I think the Toronto Maple Leafs played a, probably one of their best games in the series. Over not now. Listen, let me let me get to what I'm saying. Okay. All around, when I'm talking about getting everybody contributed, I think this was one of the best games because I talked about Austin Matthews and Mitch Marner, how they weren't showing up. And this game, again, even though they didn't score any goals, they showed up still. Austin Matthews and Mitch Marner they both had an assist. So I gotta give them a lot of credit on that. Again, William Nylander was involved, like he should have been, you know. Uh Jake Muzzin had two goals, so I got to give him a lot of credit as well. Now, obviously, when we go to Canadians, we look at Armia, and he had two goals as well. And Kat Kaniemi, he had a, he had a goal as well, and then obviously Hyman. But it seemed to me like a lot of people, like almost everybody on the on the Maple Leafs, were getting involved. Galchenyuk, I believe he had an assist as well. Yep, Kerfa. Again, I wanted to see more out of him, but regardless, but I look at this Nate right, and I really can't. Obviously, you could point to power plays, like for the Maple Leafs. It went 0 for 1, but you only got one power play. Same thing for the Canadians. But when I really look at this, Nate, uh, yeah, I can't – again, this is just unlucky by the Maple Leafs, you know? There's really not a lot here to critique. It was a good game. They went – um, and I've seen the last goal. It was a two-on-one -on fast break, and that's really hard to guard, you know? And they ended, and Suzuki ended up getting the goal, and Canadians stayed alive. But if I'm the Maple Leafs, I'm holding my head high, Okay. Because the mate, because because the Canadians didn't, they beat you, but they didn't find the key to beating you. You know, they stayed in the game. They did what they needed to do, and maybe there were some pieces that they finally figured out that they can use. But regardless, the Maple Leafs they played a good game. You know, it, it, they just got unlucky in overtime. And I got to give them credit. Okay, they were down three nothing. And they came back. You know, the only thing I could say is I wish that they might have – I wish they probably scored at least one more goal in the first period because that first period, it was stacked with scoring. You know, it was 3-1. to one. May, I, I, That's the only thing I wish, that they would have scored at least one goal in that first period. And, again, this probably would have – and, again, it probably would have been tied going in overtime. Well, actually, no, it would have been tied. In it would have been 4-3 Maple Leafs. My bad, excuse me. But if they would have scored one more time in this first period, they could have won it, you know, but or one time in general in this game, but they didn't. Um Overtime came and they didn't get the job done. It's just as simple as that. But if I'm the Maple Leafs, you know, there's a lot of things to take away from this. Okay. There's a lot of things to take away from this. Okay. Jack Campbell could have had a better game as well, but he didn't do too bad. Okay. If I'm the Maple Leafs, takeaways. Okay. Continue doing what you did in this game for next game. All right. If I'm the Maple Leafs, score early. Okay. And keep that and keep that lead. It's as simple as that. Okay. So by the time, if you ever are down in those third periods, at least that one goal in the first period might help you. You never know. Um, Face-off percentage, you could do a little bit better at that. Um, shots on goal, 35, that's good. Keep that up. Hits, you could be a little bit more aggressive. That's what I'd probably say. But regardless, I got to give them a lot of credit, Nate. I got to give the Maple Leafs a lot of credit. They played a good game. They really did. They played a good game, but the Canadians were just better. You know, the Canadians fought. They stayed in it. I got to give them a lot of credit, too, because this was an elimination game for them, and they came in, and they won. So now they get to stay alive for another game. And I believe next game is going to be in – is it going to be in Montreal? Correct. See, so look at that. That could be a good momentum shifter for the Montreal Canadiens too. You're going back to your home ice with a three – down 3-2. You get that win at home, and then you capitalize on game seven. And all of a sudden, the Canadians have that win. But look, if I'm both teams, really, they both played a good game. It just came to overtime – it was a two-on-one fast break for the Canadians, and he ended up scoring. Basically, that's the only thing I could point to. But with that being said, you know, I wish both teams the best of luck heading into Montreal for game six. Again, I think it's going to be a very good game. I think I think if the Canadians can capitalize at home, I think the momentum completely shifted towards the Canadians for game seven. 
But again, if on the Maple Leafs, you know, there's there's a lot of things to take away from this game. So just take it away. Again, get everybody involved. I'm glad to see Austin Matthews and Mitch Marner getting involved. Hopefully, you know, we get to see John Tavares back. Again, we know he got hurt, but most likely that's probably not going to happen. But again, you know, wishing John Tavares a speedy recovery because what happened to him is very unfortunate. But regardless, Nate, you know, I wish both teams the best of luck and we'll see what happens in game six.